Hello everyone and welcome. It's Kylie Vitucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia. How are you all today? Good to see you all here. So good to be here with you actually live as opposed to a premiere. Uh, but the premieres are fun too because I feel like I'm still there with you. Thank you for everyone jumping in and commenting and um, still following along even though it wasn't actually live but it pretty much is almost the same so how is everyone Bruno asked a very good question who's coming to online stamping retreat who's coming to OSR peeps PS do you like the earrings here got the new hairdo in case you don't know do you want to be edumacated I had to be edumacated so the little the little hand here if you have a look closely it's a little heart see little heart so if you see young ones doing this they're actually saying I love you not clicking their fingers and asking for something <laughs> they're two very different things aren't they <laughs> but yes it's a love heart I think it started in Korea moved to Philippines <laughs> all in that area and now it's pretty much come to Australia I've seen a lot of people starting to do it and this one Cheers! <laughs> that was everywhere in the Philippines when we were over there. Hello Tanya, hi Heather, hi Donna. So good to see you, Randy and Sue and Christine and Anna. Megan Lacorne is in the house. Patricia, oh so many beautiful people. Charlotte, thank you to all my regulars who come and join us and if you're new here let us know so we can welcome you. Welcome. But before we begin, what do we need to do? Did someone say Peppergino? I think they did, Kylie. Did someone say Peppergino? Mm-hmm. Peppergino! Peppergino time, people. Get your Peppergino. What have I got today? Today, I'm still off coffee, people. I don't know what's going on with me. It's really weird. I maybe have one coffee a week now. I don't know what happened, but anyway... Today I'm in my little sippy cup, which I never do pink, people, but today pink because it has dogs on them. Look at the doggies. Are they the cutest? I was like, yeah, I have to have this. And in here is protein water. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to trying to do the right thing. Ugh, boring. <laughs> but I must. <laughs> so this is helping me. This is helping curb my appetite. It's working. It's doing wonders. Not eating as much, which is good. Hello, Maya Swari and Kathy. Enjoying the meeting. What beverage are you all having today? Oh, Sue's been to all of the online stamping retreats and she got paid today. So she's going to join up. We need an applause for that one, Sue. Woohoo! So today I'm actually making a card that will show you what the online stamping retreat is all about. In fact, it was an, an old online stamping retreat card that I made, but of course I'm using different products, which is the beauty about online stamping retreat is you can use the fun fold technique and then use whatever you like with it. So I'm adapting it to the reach for the stars um, paper. I think it's called the reach for the stars suite, but anyway, it's the space one. <laughs> You'll know the one I'm talking about. <laughs> Ooh, sounds good, Eric. Enjoy that pasta. And Randy's having coffee as she does night shift, you hard worker. Uh, so yes, this will give you a taste of what it is like to come to online stamping retreat, but you get it for free. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Um, but I'm not going to tell you any measurements today. I know, I'm so mean. Because I want to show you FOMO. You're going to have serious FOMO, the fear of missing out. I don't want you to miss out on online stamping retreats, so I'm showing you what you've missed out previously if you didn't go. Oh, that's a bit mean, Kylie. No, it's a kindness. It's a service to all of you to make sure that you sign up. And even if you can't come live, all good. You get the recording. Ta -da! Here we are. Session two. So it's not join the wait list now. I need to change that. Should have done that last night. But anyway, I'm good, but I'm not that good. <laughs> I did a lot of things last night, but not that. So you can scan this QR code or head over to 
www.onlinestampingretreat.com and sign up there. If you're scanning the QR code, just use your camera on your phone or on your iPad. Um, I'm pretty sure Android, Android uh, device is the same or you may need a QR code reader. But most of you are very good at QR code reading now. So just hover over the top of that and that will take you to the website. There's onlinestampingretreat.com where you can sign in. Now just please keep in mind that it's only in US dollars. It's $45 US. So some of our Australian peeps messaged me going, I thought it was $45 Australian and then it all changed. So just please keep that in mind. Um, it is like an eight hour session. So it's well worth what you're paying even with the conversion. And we know you're going to absolutely love it because we have, each of us have a, a card to make and then we do um, two cards together. So that's another four. So we're doing eight projects all up over the series of the day about six hours to eight hours with all of the prizes and things like that now Bella's jumping on me I think she wants to come and say hello let's pick Bella up so that she can say hi come here little girl she's like I want to say hello to everyone here she is say hi Bella she can see herself I'm surprised she's not barking <laughs> She's had a little groom before we went away. We went to Sydney for the week and did some voluntary work up there, which is why we weren't live. But, um, yeah, they had a ball down here with some friends of ours that really looked after them so well. Um, so that's very nice. They've been, they've been very pampered, I must say. Um, so, oh, hello, Bella. Megan Lacornu has a question mark. For Bruno Batucci. I don't know what the question mark is. Are you from Thropshire, Megan Lacorny? <laughs> Why is Megan from, oh, because she said Makona. <laughs> remember that ad? Don't you remember that ad, um, Megan? Where she goes, oh my goodness, you're, you're gorgeous. Oh, I'm from Thropshire. <laughs> don't you remember that one? It's the best ad ever. He looks really handsome until he opened his mouth. Then he didn't look so handsome anymore. <laughs> so what are we going to do today? What else have I got to show you? What show and tell have I got? Oh, joining offer. I knew I was going to forget that one. <laughs> I was on to you, Bruno. I just did a flip, everyone. Did a backflip. So remember, we've had quite a few take advantage of this amazing, amazing, amazing special. We highly recommend the 35% off. It is a bargain. I did have... I did have some math here on my scribbled sheet but you do actually get more for what you pay i know you get more when you have 35 percent more but it works out i've done the math for you i've done the girl math and the 35 percent off is basically them giving you things for free <laughs> so you get uh 125 dollars and 15 cents for free which is awesome so and you also get on stage for free people that's worth $123 so don't miss out on this one if you've been a demonstrator in the past please talk to your demonstrator if it's not us and you don't live in Australia please go do it it's a no-brainer you get basically all the products for free oh someone ringing the bell Bruna did try and stop them <laughs> shopping's, here. shopping's here oh groceries yeah. oh that's good we've got people coming for dinner tonight I'm cooking Pasta. Isn't that exciting? I know, I'm doing it from scratch too. Bolognese. Oh, Bruno has to show his ID. <laughs> I just remembered I got some wine. <laughs> it's a really lovely wine too. It's called Little Giant. And it has a warm bat on the front. And it's a really lovely red wine. So, yes, what was I saying? 35% off. Free st um, on stage. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, I say. Let's do that, everyone. So if you haven't signed up already and you're not a demonstrator currently, just remember you don't need to sell. You have no lock-in dates. There's no pressure. You can drop any time. If you don't reach your quarterly minimums, guess what? Oh, you just come back as a customer, which is what you are already anyway. You get 20% off minimum when you join. I'm just going to shut this door because they're having a loud chat. It sounds, she sounds like me at the door. Come on, Jasper and Bella, you go see 
what Daddy's up to. Yep. Good. Off you go. <laughs> Bruno did say to me, you should shut your door. I'm like, no, it's fine. It's not a problem. Oh, yeah, it's a problem. Come on, it's going to eventually focus. Focus. Okay, good. We're good now. Um, yes, and I put wine in my pasta sauce too, Charlotte. I think it's a must-have. That is the best type of pasta sauce is when it has wine in it. Yes, please. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, yes, let's do wine. <laughs> so I think that's really, really awesome. If you can get your hands on the amazing, amazing offer this month, it's probably one of the better offers that I've seen for a very long time. Um, so don't miss out and don't think it's because, oh, I have to do this and I have to do that and I have to meet, meet a quarterly minimum and, I, and I'm stuck. No, none of those things. It's so flexible. You can pick anything you want for your starter kit. It's so easy, flexible. You can leave any time. It really is the best option because you get a discount. Everyone's all like, oh, you know, I don't want to spend as much. Well, this is how you can do it, peeps. This is how you get... The deal, it's joining. Joining is the best deal. Oh, blackjack. I'm gonna have to try that one, Pam. Best red, oh, actually, yes, I have seen blackjack around. Very nice. I do like a Cabernet Sauvignon from the Kunawara region. Although I'm becoming very, I'm enjoying a Shiraz lately from the Barossa. I love the Barossa. It's a really beautiful red, the Barossa. Winner. Now, I have to work out how do I add my camera. Everything's changing around here. I might have to get my technical advisor because it doesn't seem to be adding the camera. Come on, camera. I need my down-facing camera. Oh, hello. Picture in picture. <laughs> Let's just do that then. <laughs> Kylie's like, don't touch any more things. <laughs> it's all going to break. <laughs> Oh, I think I've done it. I think I've found the, I think I've found the right one. No, I click it and nothing happens. Oh, I might have found something. I found camera A. I'm just like clicking random buttons to see if it does anything. <laughs> it's like, come on, little one. You can do it. I don't know. Because even this one here isn't... Oh, maybe if I press this. Ah, it is working. Oh, you can see some of my project already. <gasps> Quick, jump away. Oh, no. Now it's jumped to that. Do you know what? Sometimes this thing, honestly, cam computers, I love them, but sometimes I really hate them. <laughs> I'm like, why can't you just do what I'm asking you to do already? <laughs> So now I have to find a way to get my front facing camera correct. Hi. Hi, just in time. Hello. It's having it's having a little conniption. You have to show me how to add my down facing camera properly. Because I'm just that? oh well, it's working now. I've got it working now. But before it was not happy with me. I don't know what I did. User error. Yeah, it's totally user error. That's what I'm saying. One hundred percent user error. But I'm willing to admit it. <laughs> but before we go on, one more thing. The video class bundle. Woo! This one is adorable. Remember, you do not need the suite in order to take advantage of these incredible projects because you can swap out the products and you have 12 classes. That's right, 12 classes, videos for only $22 Australian and you have unlimited access. You can see Sue Vines on a beautiful 3D bag project. You've got so many amazing projects in this bundle. So if you haven't tried our uh, class bundles before, please give them a go because we have quite a few of them. You can scan that QR code um, or just head over here. I'll put the link up for you all. And... Let's have a look here. <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, class bundles. There we go. So if you haven't tried them before, definitely check them out because they are so well worth it. They're amazing. 
full of brilliant ideas, lots of tips from 12 amazing demonstrators from around the world. And yeah, you're going to learn so much from that bundle. So get your hot little hands onto it. And now I think we shall down face the camera. Now I've got nudie fingers today. I feel very naked and exposed, but I ran out of time. It was either my face or my fingers. And I'll tell you what, this morning it needed to be my face. <laughs> my face was looking like that today. <laughs> so what are we doing now? Bruno did not show the previous online stamping up uh, online um, stamping retreat. How, what's the OSR stand for again? He did show the OSR project. So I'm not showing you the actual project because, you know, I just feel that that is something that all of those who invested in us, that's just something that you only get to see. That's it. No one else. So I am using a replica of one of our old projects. I'm using it with new products and I'm using these beautiful Reach for the Stars. I have to get the exact name of this for you because Reach for the Stars, Stargazing, 86 and 87. There we go. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So just a little note to self, I will be using this in my online stamping retreat um, project, which I'm really excited about that project. It is absolutely stunning. Today I've done sort of like a pared down um, project in the sense that I'm not using the dies and I'm not using many, of the, I'm just using the sentiments. So I'm really looking forward to doing the project because it's just, there's just a really big thing about space at the moment. And I think this is just the perfect card for so many people, young boys, girls, adults. It's just an all rounder who doesn't want to look at the planets and the stars and it's just fantastic. So it's really got a lot of versatility to it. Um, but let's jump in and have some fun playing with these um, dies well basically the paper I'm using mostly paper today so I've already been doing some choppy choppy look at this this is how I like to cut paper that I know I'm going to be cutting out instead of cutting it in half and then ending up with you know half bits I just sort of cut around and then I know that I'm going to be using it for that purpose but if I do want to use the other side then I can still do that I just have to chop it down um, but yes, I thought this was a great way of getting some planets. I might need some more. I did as many as I could last night, but I got very tired. I'm like, I'm going to bed. I'll do the rest live with all of you because I knew you wouldn't mind because you're used to me doing it as I go anyway. <laughs> now, I have a really cool mechanism that I've already created. So this was all in the online stamping retreat previously. If you came, this is a reminder of that amazing project that I did. Um, there is another one here somewhere. I've already lost something, everyone. It's in true Kylie style, but we're looking for another one of these. Found it. Thanks, everyone. You can stop looking. Woo! So we have two mechanisms, and these mechanisms are actually going to be pop-ups. I know. So they're going to sit on here, and then we're going to have this really cool planetarium thing happening so it's going to sit on here I feel like these aren't oh, they could be the correct size but anyway we'll have a play I did go by the tutorial but I feel like they could be a different size you know typical Kylie move just you know make it up as I go along now this one here I feel like I was going to stick it down directly because I really want it to be edge to edge and this paper is absolutely stunning. But what I'm going to do is just fold it first, both of them, and then stick it down. I feel like that I will have better control of everything then. So let's do that. One. And we want this to fold in like this because we're doing it on the inside. 
and do it right up against the edge, right up against the edge, like so. Good. Now, you could cut it. Oh, hello. That was the top of a cello bag. <laughs> you never know what you'll find around here. We got up to Sydney, which is like an hour flight away from Melbourne, for those of you that aren't from Australia. Um, <laughs> we got up to Sydney. We were unpacking our suitcase just to put everything in the away. And um, Brenna goes, Kylie, check it out. You took a photo. It was a dimensional backing. It's like, how do these things travel with us? It was very funny. We laughed and laughed. Oh, I don't think I've got any glue left in that one. Last night, I was like, you really should open a new one. But I just, I knew there was just a little bit left in here. And I can't, I just don't like waste. I don't like to waste things. Are you the same? Oh, that's the wrong one. I put the lid on this one because this is sharp, this one. This is the new take your pick tool, people. You need it in your life because it unclogs you to your glue. And, you know... Even the best of times, I think I don't need it. Oh, hello, there's a little bit on there. I'm like, I don't need, I don't need to unblock my glue. I'll just put the lid on. <laughs> Famous last words. I'm just going to do the top first because I have done this type of thing before, and it has gone pear shaped because I stuck the stuck it all together and then it had like a bowing well not the plane but it bowed a bit in the middle so yeah see look at that it's so weird what it does it does all weird stuff so I'll probably have to cut that down oh yeah it's just a little bit oh no it's on it was probably just a little bit too long. So what I'm going to do is now do this side because I really wanted it to be seamless. I didn't want you to see any cuts, but this is the way that I would do it. So lay it down and then do it like that. But let's just see the middle here. Yeah, so this is the bit I don't like. Maybe we do need a little bit of give. Don't do what I just did. Lay it flat. <laughs> <laughs> flat is better and then fold yes that's better because <laughs> it oh look at that see that's what I don't like maybe all of you can help me give me tips on what you do to, to have one piece one continual piece yeah that feels a bit better it's just having it scored really well here but yeah, I've done a bit of scoring here, but don't worry, that'll all be covered up anyway. So crisis will be averted eventually when I cover it. Now, let me have a look at my tutorial to see the measurements for inside, because I feel like the piece... Oh, no, that is the piece. Oh, I see what I've done. Okay. Yep. Kylie didn't read her destructions properly. That is why. I was like, how did I extend it like that? You will understand what I mean in a moment. That was very tricky, Kylie Petucci. Oh, Kerry's getting some support there. Excellent. I like seeing that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to... I'll stick these down, firstly. These are our mechanisms. And had you have gone to online stamping retreat when we told you to, you would know what I'm doing right now. Does everyone remember what this card was? So don't miss out. Go and sign up. It will always buckle. How sad. I think if I had have let it dry properly, I think I would have had more of a chance of less buckling. Okay, that looks good. So that's going to be our pop-up pop mechanism. And look at this. Like when you close it, it goes flat. Isn't that the coolest mechanism? It's so simple. And I did three different types of cards with this type of mechanism. And yeah, it's just, you have to do it on the fold. But it's a really cool one. And you can guess what I'm about to do, people, can't you? 
<laughs> but I wanted to extend out here. So how are we going to do that? How, people, how are we going to extend it? Well, I have a way. Where there is a will, there's a way. I've got to include Earth. I've got to make sure Earth is on there. Isn't this the coolest? <gasps> oh, I stinking love this card so much. So what we're going to do, there's actually a few different things we could do. We could actually um, stick a piece like this along and have it, you know, just stick out a little bit further. That would be one way. Um, but I want it to, to be sort of, you know, show the background and be a bit translucent. So in my project for online stamping retreat, oh, vegan, she's like, which one is this from? I'll give you a hint. I used the um, famous butterflies, Megan. I actually didn't. I didn't show this one. I use. I showed a. It was actually the first one. I'm pretty sure. I showed the sunflower. That was the one I made with this pop-up mechanism. You opened it, ta -da, and it was a sunflower sitting there. But in those bunch of tutorials, so go back, there was a butterfly one. And yeah, I loved it. Love, love, love. Now, let me see if I've got some acetates. I don't even know where my acetate is, to be honest. Where do I keep my acetate, Bruno Batucci? I think it might be in the bottom drawer. It's not something I use a lot, the window sheets. But I love having them. They're very handy. No, no, not in there. Anyway, Bryn will be in in a moment, hopefully. If not, I'll give him a holler. Ooh, there's the holographic paper. Isn't that stunning? So, you know, you can really dress this up and really go to town with this sort of hologram type thing. Hello, Hi. Hi. Acetate? Yes, please. Some here. Um, okay. Yeah, that's where Start I looked there. there, and, there. Yeah. and here. Oh, there. And Excellent. there's also window sheets in there. Hi, everybody. Hi, Bruno. Um, Thank you. So, that has to have a score if you straddle the two things. There will be a... Okay, just a reminder. Thank you, my yep. love. You're very kind. Thank you. Um, this was just an idea. But let's have a look here. At ah, window sheet. So in the project, I choppy chopped them up with a secret measurement that you don't know anything about because you didn't come. You don't have the tutorial. <laughs> I'm so mean. How did I get this mean? I'm doing you all a service, remember, so that you don't miss the next one. Because, you know, you have it for life. Once you sign up, you've got it forever. And you could be going back. All of those that went to the first one are going back now. And you're like, yeah, I've got this awesome idea for this amazing pop-up card that no one has seen anywhere before. I haven't seen it anywhere. You can tell me if you've seen it. Here we go. Oh my goodness, we got the, uh, the cutest little doggy dispenser thing. It's so adorable. And it dispenses their food. And it has a camera on the front. <laughs> it's so cute. So I'm going to stick this on top just so that it hides that window sheet. And then that's going to sit on here like this so that now we've got an extender. So we can sit planets on here. Da -da! And it looks like it's hovering in outer space. Like, oh, how did you hover like that? Yes, I love it. So let's stick that down onto here. And I've given it a lot of um, like extra space. Um, and actually we can do the whole thing because we're going to put paper on top anyway. So all good to go. But yes, I've done it like a little platform so that just as much here is at the, at the base because it just gives it more 
um, more of a foundation. I'll just put some on top there as well. And let's just make sure that we've got the right way round. Yes, I do like it that way round. Because if I can match them, why not? I mean, you probably won't see much of this, but it's just in case it peeks through. We're following the the pattern. It's the small things that make a big difference, right? Oh my goodness, what is going on with those doggies, Bruno? Get your doggies under control. Lock Jasper up in a room. He's barking his head off because he's just hungry all the time now. I think he might have Cushing's. Has anyone's dog got Cushing's disease? Or any animal can get Cushing's apparently. And they're just hungry all the time. It's all Bruno ever wanted was dogs that ate. Now we've got dogs that eat and we're like, oh my goodness, this is so annoying. <laughs> you wake up hungry, you sleep, you're just hungry all the time. Now, let's just open this up so I can see your comments because I, I quickly diverted. Hello, Linda. I get so much anxiety with liquid glue. <laughs> It'll dry, Bruno. All good. <laughs> but each to their own. If you would like to use um, tape, you can use tape. It's totally up to you. Oh, good. He's getting the doggies under control. Thank you, Bruno. I don't need to see it, hear a barking dog all through my video. Okay, so here's one. <laughs> They're in the room with Bruno. You can hear the door shut. It's like, get in here. So that is as simple as it is. And actually, I am meant to stick this together too. It does make a, bit a difference because then it, it combines and stays together. But actually, it probably would still work even if you didn't. But... Yeah, I think it has more of a an effect. Let's try that in a moment. And make sure that everything can go flat that way and flat that way. So we're just giving it some bends, some bending and stretching. So you do need a belly band with this type of card, but I personally feel it's worth it. And that is the mechanism. Yes, we could put the Enterprise on there. <laughs> so now all you do is just decorate. So I really felt like that was very happy down there. Nice big planet there. And it can sort of come off the edge a bit too. And then we've got some planets over here. And there's no, like, you have to do it this way. But the cool thing is, is that you can sort of have it hanging off. Just have to check that it's not going, f that's the only thing is that it's not going further than the base of the card or not going outside of the edges of the card. That's all. So we've got that one there. We've got another one over here. Do you not love this? Oh my goodness, I love it. I'm so in love. We'll put planet Earth over here. And we've got this amazing planet here. Whoever you are, you're a newly discovered one. <laughs> and what should we put up the top here? Because we do need... We do need another one. I think if we do, ooh, maybe something like this would be good. We've got some nice, um, thanks Julie, thank you for registering. You will not be disappointed. If you like this card, if you like fun folds, even if you're new to crafting and you haven't done fun folds before, you saw this pop-up mechanism. It's not difficult. All that's difficult is knowing the measurements and how to put it together. And you're going to get all of that when you come along to our event. So you're going to get a lot of support. Okay. 
Now, with this one here, you can totally use the dies. The dies come in the, the pack, but I decided to do some fussy cutting because I love fussy cutting. I know I'm a freak, everyone. No one really likes fussy cutting, but I do. Even Brenner's like, ugh, but he is left-handed, so I do kind of understand why he wouldn't. And I feel like this one. But I do like um, being able to have the border of the black around. And I notice that if I use the dies, I think it cuts that. Well, to be honest, I didn't actually test it. And I probably should test it. Because there's quite a few dies here that you can use. Oh, can I make any more noise? Can anything else fall off? Yes, it could. <laughs> There's a lot, of, a lot of stuff over here. <laughs> Even to begin with, I'm like, I really should tidy up. I did a little bit of a tidy. Ah, there's my glasses. Oh, I ordered some more on Amazon today because I couldn't find my readers anywhere. Because so I'm blind as a bat now. It's what happens when you hit 40. Don't laugh. I used to laugh at people. I remember it. I'd be like, oh my goodness, you can't read that. What's your problem? What deficiency do you have? So see here, it's like, yeah, it feels right on that edge, which, you know, up to you. But I just wanted that little black edge there. Oh, you like it, Bruno? Thank you. He wasn't overly keen on it last night. I was trying to explain that it is, it's very different to my online stepping retreat card, isn't it? I was a bit worried it was too similar because I'm using the same products, but it's really very, very different. It's a different style of pop-up. But this is what I love about the products is you can just adapt them to how you want. That is not the best snipping Kylie Batucci. Uh, yeah, I think you could use a window sheet. You could give it a go. I mean, the only thing with window sheets that probably I have struggled with in the past, because I've done a, like a trifold card with window sheets, and the only issue I had was scoring. It just, like I was trying to score, like it really wouldn't score well. Um, and then it, of course, it's like fights against being folded it just wants to spring open and then I did have a few issues where it um it then started ripping like it there was a tear where I put the score so yeah exactly what Bruno said it's just a it's just a bit finicky it's a bit annoying I mean it would look awesome but what you could actually do if you really wanted to be precise is you know where the score line is. If you got the exact same piece of paper as what's below, it would look like, you know, it's exactly so. like if I planted a little bit better, I could have actually cut that piece out from that base, which would be awesome because then it would continue like what is on the bottom is on the top. So if you wanted to be organized like that, I would highly recommend chopping it out from the base. And by chopping it out from the base, it actually would be a good idea because you'd know exactly where you're placing your piece to cover it too. Oh, hello. You're going on a little adventure here, are you two? <laughs> you're taking over other planets. Eight. Hey, no galactical wars yet. All right. You gotta be friends for now while I'm around. Yeah, so it would be a lot, a lot neater if you do your but like I just really love that border. I I just thought it looked really cool. So let's see what we can do with these three here. I just think this is just such a fun card, personally. As soon as I decided I was doing this card, I'm like, oh, I know what I'm using. I know what I'm going to do. 
<laughs> I have to be careful here because I put glue and there's going to be glue at the bottom then. Oh, it's going to be glue everywhere. Let's just wipe that because I know Bruno will be having a green glue conniption. He always says pop-up cards and green glue should not be seen together. Like blue and green. <laughs> but <laughs> green glue green glue and pop-up cards is like it's a disaster waiting to happen. The minute you close it, it's all just going to get stuck together. And yes, I have been there. <laughs> What's M V E M G J? <laughs> I want to know what that acronym is for it. Oh, no, I'm not sticking on there. I'm sticking here. Is that something to do with having a meltdown, Bruno? <laughs> My nerves can't handle Kylie using green glue. <laughs> My veins. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not doing it on here. It's, it's all habits die hard, I'm telling you. I'm doing it on here. It's all going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. All right. Yes, glue dots would be perfect. In fact, that's what I used on my OSR project. I used glue dots. It would be perfecto mundo. So what do we think, peeps? Ah! Now, will it close? This is the question. Yes, it closed. Look at that for a card when you open it up. Ready? Ta-da! <laughs> it's so much fun. Oh, love it. So I'm going to do a little sentiment here, sort of hanging off the side. Um, we could do greetings friend, sort of over here. We could do reach for the stars. I think I'm going to do greetings friend on the front because this is my idea for the front. Let me show you what I've got here. So I thought there's quite a few pieces that are sort of hanging off the edge like this and I thought it's a bit of a waste to have such a cool planet but it's been half cut so if you have gone ahead and cut yours at 6 by 12 and you've got some of these half cut um, planets then this is my suggestion for you and what we're going to do is have this belly band I'm going to stick this at the front and then wrap the belly band around and this is actually going to sit on the belly band like so. So it's going to follow the belly band and come with it. Now, we'll look a little bit weird, but that's going to be folded. So, yeah, it may not. We'll give it a go. And if it looks weird, we can just change it up and stick it directly to the, the project rather than on the belly band. But I think it would be fun to follow it. And looking at this, I think if I look at how much room I've got, I could probably put greetings friend on the front um, I think that, that will look really nice in that space and that was why I was having a look here I've used the reach for the stars but I haven't used greetings friend before yay Patricia smart woman because you're gonna have it for life it's it's an investment in your future fun <laughs> do you like that oh it's just gonna fit that's actually spot on perfect so that's what we're going to use we'll emboss on that a bit later on <clears throat> once i'm just not wanting to close this too quickly because i want it to have time to dry so that bruno can breathe <laughs> and go okay yeah but i really wanted to make a card that shows you just the cool thing and the, the interesting thing with this project is i did um, three other projects using this style of pop-up and they're all completely different like one I did um, portrait mode um, and then it opened up the normal way um, but it's so different like it opens up like this and then has a pop-up flower so everything is different but it's the same mechanism so it's just a really great way to, to learn a pop-up technique that you can use for lots of different products. That's our main aim. So a lot of people will ask us, what should I use? What should I buy? Our goal is that you won't have to buy anything. Just use what you have on hand. Pull out some things that you haven't used. The majority of the time we do use sweets because it's great having the paper. But even if you don't have the sweet, all fine. Just use what paper you have on hand. There's always paper that matches other stamp sets and dies 
Um, even if you don't have a die, no problem, fussy cut. So it's very affordable. You don't need to have a lot of supplies on hand, just your basics. And yeah, you can sort of, you know, if there's a project that you really, really like and you have to do it just like this, like this paper, I can understand why you're like, I have to have that paper. But you, you could do this without any dies and without any stamps. You've seen a fussy cut it. So you could keep it really affordable. And um, woohoo, Kylie Poo, I like that. <laughs> it's too funny. But yeah, just keep it really like, you know, within your budget parameters. Because I think that's the big thing that everyone's talking about at the moment is how do I do crafting cost effectively? Um, paper. <laughs> paper is how you do things cost effectively. It's just the best thing ever. So then you can get quite a lot of packs of paper and they're just going to keep going and going. And then like, the amount of paper we have in the pack, like I pulled this out and started cutting and Bruno's like, oh no, you're not going to have it enough for your project. And I've done so many projects with this paper. And yep, yeah, sure enough, I had the paper for my project. It's like, it just keeps going. The paper just keeps going. So let's do our stamping here. I'll see. I think I've got a scrap here that I can use that should fit. And I'm going to do reach for the stars because <clears throat> I think that one will be good. Even if it's retired, Lena, whatever you want to use, like there's no point buying new things if you don't love it. Like you have to really passionately love it. And that's what I always say, like even to demonstrators, they're like, what should I buy? Buy what you love. Buy what you're going to use. Buy what, you know, like get the most use out of what you already have. <clears throat> so don't think that this is going to cost you any more than the event because if you have crafting supplies just use them that's all you need and you can adapt it and if you're not sure if you're like oh I don't know how to make this work with that project ask us we've got lots of ideas that we could help you with it's just a matter of you know thinking outside the square Ooh, will it fit we'll soon find out I think so. All right. Yes, that looks perfect. Oh, that's nice, Nessa. Yeah, it's good to be back. Um, next week we're doing another um, premiere, though. Because we've got a week of Bible school next week. Ah, can you believe it? An entire week. And we start at like 8 o'clock in the morning and finish at 5 every day. I've got quite a bit of study to do and I've been very naughty. <laughs> well, I've just been very busy actually. I haven't been naughty. I should rephrase that. It has been such a busy time. But yeah, we've got a big book to, to study. And it's very, very interesting like delving into you know is the bible accurate how do we know it's accurate looking at translation like it's just going to be amazing prophecy so our brains and our hearts are going to be full because there's so many things going on around the world now it's like what is going on right There we go. So that's going to be a busy week. So yeah, next Friday, I'm just going to wait for that to dry a little bit. Next Friday, um, I'll do a premiere for you. <laughs> Bruno, last night I said, yeah, so I've got to do a video for next week. And he's like, when are you going to do that? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> I'll fit it in somewhere. <laughs> I'll make sure it happens. And then next Sunday here in Australia, which I think will be Saturday for you guys in the US and outside of Australia. Oh, I love that. Yes, that's perfect. Oh, maybe I will cut it down. I think I will because there's nowhere here that I really... I mean, I don't mind. Well, that's actually not bad, is it? It kind of fits nicely in there. I could even tuck it in underneath here because I haven't fully stuck that down what do you reckon everyone but yes I want to um, 
I want to have the video for Friday and then next Saturday for the US peeps and Sunday for us here in Australia will be online stamping retreat. So it's coming up very, very fast. So that's why we got everything done beforehand. Bruno's done the tutorial. How many pages is the tutorial, Bruno? I love that. I love that tucking behind there. I actually do really think that that's perfect. And it doesn't take away from... Oh, even, yeah, up the top would be perfect. But I like it sitting here. It's like, reach for the stars. It should say reach for the planets. But no, it makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, Bruno thinks hanging off the edge. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can move him over without wrecking everything. Yep, I think I can. Don't you love... This is why I love green glue. I actually don't mind that at all. Thank you, Bruno. Yes, 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 yes. And it could have even gone a bit more, but I feel feel like I'll have too much sticky there then. There's no sticky there at the moment, which is a fluke. But yes, I love that. That's just, ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. And then we'll do the front. So I'll just stick this down. Beautiful. Now, I could actually do it like that and then have the belly band, but if I do it like that, I suppose I could have like a little planet here, an extra one, just so that when you pull off the belly band, there's actually something going on on this page. Nothing major, but at least it's something that's happening there. And then I could add, which planet could we add? I don't want it too big. I think this one here would be a nice little addition. Let's have a look and see what it looks like. And I'll have to add this to the other side. So we'll just flip which side we do the sentiment. Yeah, I think we could make that work. I could probably do something like that. And then have the the friend still a friend on there yep I think that works yes you can Jenny I will open that ready dun, 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 dun. ready for opening countdown <laughs> Ta -da! that's what it looks like isn't that amazing wow go Sally Yes, yeah, I think my, our brains are going to be like, so much information to learn, isn't there? It's fantastic. Now, the book decided to fall over. I really should, now that I've found my readers, I should have them on. Especially with the black, it's like, oh, am I cutting? <laughs> That's probably why my <laughs> cutting was so bad before. It's like, oh, it's so awful not being able to see properly. I used to have such brilliant eyesight. It just changed overnight. Boom, can't see. So let's just, I think we'll stick that down. I think I've confirmed that in my head, that that is staying. And I really want to make sure that these edges are well sticked down, stuck down, sticked. <laughs> That's funny, sticked down um, because we're going to be using that belly band 
back and forth so I want to make sure that there's no sort of edges sticking up that can catch on the belly band as it moves that's good that feels very good and then this is as technical as my belly bands get so what I like to do is I like to have just measure one side to be all the way over to the edge here and then it doesn't matter where this edge goes so all I do is get my trimmer and just the width of whatever your card is in your country <clears throat> so get the width of that you can go just a little tiny bit down but get that and then that's one fold that's already done for you because I'll show you why I like to do this because what happens is then I'm going to glue I'm going to stick this under and then you, you're going to stick the belly band so that's almost at the edge I remember hearing eat more carrots I eat quite a bit of carrots Donna I think it's I think it's just called presbyopia <laughs> I used to work for an eye clinic and it's just it's an unfortunate thing that as you get older your lens harden and yeah talk to an optometrist and they'll say no carrots cannot help your presbyopia <laughs> the hardening of the lens in your eye it's just something that happens sadly to us all it would be wonderful if carrots could fix it So see how we've tucked that underneath and of course you can add paper to the back here as well but it's almost at the edge that you can even go a little bit because you I forgot to take into consideration that you're folding it so yeah it could even be a little bit longer than your normal size so but it looks great it just is a nicer look cleaner look at the back you're not seeing other than my little bump there that I just did but it's all right I'll forgive myself now oh yeah I'll stick that oh I might actually do the sentiment first but we're probably looking around there so we can just do the edge of this and do the greetings friend so we've got that here and we've got our embossing buddy and versa mark <clears throat> Lena's like I wish carrots would fix it <laughs> yeah it's just something that happens with old age unfortunately but keep getting your eyes checked because you might have cataracts as well that's another one that happens just to everyone I learned that from my working at the eye clinic it's just eventually the lens in the eye then clouds not only does it harden but then it gets all cloudy and so if you're starting to see like halos and things like that when you're driving especially at night time with lights then you more than likely need to get your cataracts done actually I've got a friend going in today I've got to mes message my friend Bera she's getting her eyes done today what time is it now? Anyway, I'll message her and say, thinking of you. She was very much looking forward to it because her eyes have been really bad. Not being able to drive at night anymore. Which is not fun for anyone, is it? So I'm going to use this little guy. Make sure he's clean though. But he's really good for taking off embossing peeps this this tool is like my favorite i like it better than the other stabby tool that's the official name for the take your pick stabby tool now it's a little bit crooked which i'm not overly happy with but i'll emboss it and we'll see how it looks because i can always cover it we're good at covering things aren't we us crafters we know how to cover it up mm. 
Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh yeah, I actually don't mind it. Once this is on, what do you think everyone? Do I get away with it? Because the other thing that I can do is have this at the front. So what size are we looking at? Which I think will look really cool actually. Sometimes the mistakes birth something amazing. Oh, thank you, Donna. Well, interesting, Sally, that you should ask that because we I didn't give any measurements or any tips. I've been very cruel. But I'm being cruel to be kind. That's my that's my theory. Because this is an old OSR project. And I want everyone to get FOMO. FOMO so that they don't miss this one coming because you regret it. This was my first one in actual fact. Ooh, even that side would be really pretty. This was my first online stamping retreat project. And so anyone who signed up for that has still got this tutorial. So they can go on over to onlinestampingretreat.com, log in, and it'll be sitting there waiting for them. Still going. Yeah, I'm still here. Hi. <laughs> you can still use me. <laughs> oh, so happy, Anna. Thank you. So I know I'm being very mean, but it's kindness. It's like I don't want you to miss out. Normally you wouldn't even get to see this. It's all top secret. Now let's just make sure that we're getting this the right way this time. It's a little bit difficult to tell on this stamp it doesn't really have a flat base oh it's still a little bit but a lot better it's a lot better than what the other one was and now we've got this beautiful patterned paper <laughs> which is very cool I definitely like that better oops put my finger in the embossing powder Beautiful. Oh, was a second. Oh, thank you, Bruno. It was in the fall, that's right. Because it was spring first, wasn't it? And then fall. Oh, that's much better. See, look at that. No one will know. No one will know that it was crooked. And I think I actually really like it better. It just makes sense now, doesn't it? So I'll just wait for it to dry a little bit and then I'll just run a tissue over the top of it. Just to get off the, because um, the powder does leave a bit of residue. Move this one out of the way so the card doesn't get stuck in that. <laughs> If that dies out of the way as well. Don't need you. We fussy cut today. We don't need you. I will, however, while that dries, put this away. Because I was very naughty last project. I don't know what... Oh, that's right. We were packing for Sydney. And I didn't close the lid. And I'm like, oh no, have I ruined my embossing powder? But it seems to be working fine, which I'm very happy about. Because I was like, oh no, not the powder. Yeah, that feels good. So you just get a tissue, just run it over the top. Because I like to really be heavy handed with my embossing buddy. Just so that there's no static. And it really does make a difference. I used to think it was just like 
whatever as if that does anything it does people it really does if you struggle with your embossing that might be why if you have lots of you know bits and pieces flying all around the place little bits of white now let's see if we can pop this on yes so you want more space than than what you think like it's good to not be too tight so that yeah it can sit nicely but that looks really good hey I like that it's got the the planet there so for your for your um, planets that are like half cut so you've got all along your edge here that's your potential for all your edge pieces even this side here we could even have you know one of these pieces here one of the small ones could possibly use this one here actually let's do that one just so that there's something there when we and it's just using your edge pieces up like why should we waste it let me get my glasses let me get my glasses <laughs> oof they're dirty actually Brenna was going to order me some glasses cleaners I think we've got some around the place oh wow I can see <laughs> what I'm doing <laughs> makes such a big difference I know it's hard people but you just if you can't see just realize that you need to put your glasses on get some magnifiers go to the shop get your magnifiers and do it just own the fact that it is time I kept like trying to avoid it I'm like no no I'm not that age <laughs> I don't need glasses please don't it's not happening to me. I was totally in denial. But it's much better to see. It's a much better quality of life. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. What do you think, peeps? Good morning, Lynette. Oh, you love it. Mind-blowing. So now we open it up. And, you know, imagine if you put your astronaut or your rocket like there's so many things but I didn't want to use those things because I use them in my project for online stamping retreat I thought I'll just focus on the paper plus it's also budget wise this is a very good card because you don't have any dies you only have the one set of stamps which you could use anything with you don't have to have this stamp set so I just wanted to show you a cost effective way of making a very fancy card um, but yes, in my project, I use this amazing guy and this, and I've got hologram paper. Like I really go all out. It's like next level. So you think this is le like, this is fancy. Whoa, you wait, <laughs> you wait for online stamping retreat in a week's time. <laughs> so that looks really good. Doesn't it? Having the two there, at least it's not all alone now. And you could even add, I could possibly do a third one. Actually, let's do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have one sitting underneath the belly band because threes, threes are the way to go. It's the Fibonacci sequence, people. It tells you that that's what you must do. <laughs> Nature tells us that it likes things in odd numbers. I don't know why, but it just looks better to the eye. So I'll just do a little one, but it will be like our little yellow crushed curry planet has its own little purple moon to look after it to keep its magnetic field going <laughs> there we go and we'll just sit that underneath there is that the one i was using i think so i'll soon find out yes of course it doesn't have a lid on it yeah that looks a bit better and then, ready to open? Ready to feast your eyes on this one, peeps? Dun, 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 dun. What? Doesn't that look unreal? Like, so cool. And that's the mechanism. How simple is that? And yet it folds down flat. And it's just going to be this amazing planetarium. <laughs> Isn't that cool? What do you think, everyone? Give me thumbs up. Give me likes if you like it. I'll let you. We've only got 33 likes. 
I think that's Facebook, the 33 likes. <laughs> yeah, Brynna's got multis now too. They do help because at least you can look forward and down. Oh, thank you, Heather. <clears throat> and while we're at it, why not do the back? Because, you know, we want to do the whole, whole thing. I've got the paper. Why not? Why not? <clears throat> it just looks so fancy. Is that the right cut? Yes, it is. It's already cut. Fantastic. Hologram. Wow. Oh, good. Yes, it's nice to have the back done as well. <clears throat> Why not, hey? Oh yeah, we need some writing. Well, actually, what you could do for writing, and it's good that I've got that paper there, definitely have that. Or what I have done in the past is um, had a whole other piece that opens up, but I will add... I did have that here, some basic white ready to go that has some Tombow glue on it. What a surprise. <laughs> we'll, we'll stick it that way around. <laughs> no one will know. <laughs> and we'll use my card templates just to get the sizing of the writing. I think, I think the granny apple green might be a good, good size. Oh, it's a little bit big. What's the next size down? I think we've got pool party, I think is a good one. Let's do that. Oh yeah, here's pool party. Oh, that's Coastal Cabana. That's a little, actually maybe that one. Yes, that's the one. Coastal Cabana size. And this is why I like my card templates because see how I'm able to see how much you're going to see on the outside. It's just a really great visual effect for me. And then I know I just I have the measurement on the back, um, but most of you probably put it on the front because I just put it on the back so I don't confuse all the different measurements that we use around the world. Um, but yeah, then it spits out exactly what you need to cut your paper. So it's just really handy for those of you who struggle with measurements. Definitely get our card template tutorial because it just helps you have creative confidence when you're cutting layers and you know pieces for your work and it's like a real life card sketch really so we can have that there like so just lining it up okay and then we can have I really like this little planet here little one here I'm just gonna put that on the back why not I'm really getting the use out of this paper it's just fantastic isn't it and if there's a paper that you use a lot like I think the key like rather than holding back and going, oh, I can't use that paper. Like I've only got a little bit left. Just keep telling yourself. I always tell myself, it's okay. You can get another pack. Like no drama. Just buy another one. Because if you're using it, it shows that it's something you like. So give yourself permission to get two packs of that paper if you're using it a lot. You deserve it, okay? Kylie said, Kylie gave you permission to get another pack. It's the small things that make all the difference, isn't it? <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> isn't that the coolest? So we're done, people. Can you believe it? We did such a fun pop-up card and it's just been one hour. One hour and 15 minutes. And I had a few bits and pieces done already, but 
it shows you what you can do when you have the right tutorial so don't miss online stamping a retreat because I'm telling you there's one card that I think is it's like Brynn and I every time I open it I just go I can't believe we made that because we actually helped each other make this card I had it in my head what I wanted and Bruno helped birth it for me. <laughs> he had ideas, I had ideas. And oh, honestly, it's just, it literally blows my mind that it's a card that I made. So <laughs> even if you just get online stamping retreat for that one card, it's like, <laughs> and it's just, yeah, something I birthed in my head and it actually worked. Sometimes that doesn't, sometimes that doesn't work. <laughs> What's in your head and what, what you want to try and do. But it did work. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go, people. Do you love it? Oh, thank you so much. It's gone up to 51 likes now. That's a bit better. <laughs> it's better than 33, right? <laughs> so I'll just do this because it's like sort of hovering then. <laughs> Wowza! <laughs> yeah, God wow. <laughs> Kapow. Let's just do a little. Even the front, I really like that. I think that's fun. And you could even have, you know what would be really fun? Ugh, Kylie, Kylie's adding something more. <laughs> of course I am. Of course I'm adding something more. So we've got this here. So I'm actually going to say you are Stella. <gasps> Yes, you're a Stella. I'm going to do it because it would be really fun to have an additional little sentiment on that front because sometimes it looks very boring when it come, when the belly band comes off. But this way we can have – I can hear Bruno in the other room probably going – no, what are you doing? It looks great, but you know, it's the little, it's the extra additions that make all the difference, right? <laughs> look at you all loving the jaw breakers. These look like jaw breakers, don't they? I don't think, do we have them in Australia? I don't know if we do. Um, we need some Versamark. Now, the clever thing to do with this would be to actually put a piece of paper rather than stamp directly. But I like to risk things, you know. I'm a, I'm a risky business type person. And even like doing it before you add all of the things underneath. <laughs> That's a really clever thing to do as well. <laughs> oh, yes, I think it's worked. So don't do what I'm doing. Just copy it later. just needed that extra little addition didn't we we didn't even know we needed it but I think that that like then it doesn't look like you take off the belly band and it's just like oh, nudie broody it feels like it has a purpose now that front so it'll go like that so that even the planet the little moon will be hidden behind and then there's like an additional surprise I like that your Stella kind of makes sense doesn't it Ta -da! oh yeah gobstoppers and then the back well done everyone we did it <laughs> 
Yay! So please, 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 we're begging you, make sure you sign up for Online Stamping Retreat because you'll miss out on cards like this. You'll get all fun fold techniques and you'll be able to use them over and over again. I'm still using them. My second retreat, apparently, I thought it was my first, but my second retreat, I made this, um, this fun fold and it's still proving to be very handy even to this day. So you don't want to miss out, peeps. So thank you for being here. Big hugs to you all. <laughs> Everyone's loving the gobstoppers. <laughs> Everlasting gobstoppers. Jawbreakers. <laughs> well, have a wonderful, wonderful week. I'm so happy to be here with you all. And we will have an amazing project for you next week. What it is, I don't know yet. But I'm sure it will be fun. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the online stamping retreat because that's the next time that you will see me live is there because I'm doing a premiere next week. So that will be lovely to see all of you there. There's going to be so many coming along. Don't miss out because you'll get FOMO. Even if you can't come live, you'll be able to get the recording. So And you'll have it for life. So it's well worth it. And... It's always wonderful to catch up with all of you. Big hugs to you all. And as my earrings show, hugs to you all. Love. Little love heart. Who learnt something new? Who didn't know that that was a little love heart? Did I teach you something new? <laughs> um, that's my goal. Every, every, less, every video, something new. <laughs> When you hit 40, over 40, you're, you're, the lenses in your eyes harden. <laughs> you get cloudy lenses. <laughs> Always something to learn, isn't there? <laughs> so good to see you all. Have a wonderful week. And we'll see you at the online stamping retreat. I hope you'll be there. Mwah! Bye. See you, everyone. Thanks for being here. Bye.